You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. The system of projects led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa has been integrated to highlight new developmental milestones. The Bahrain International Circuit, the BIC, is one of these vital projects that led Bahrain to pioneer in hosting the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix since 2004 and set the kingdom on the international roadmap for this sport. In the heart of the Sakhir Desert lies a unique modern circuit, which is the Bahrain International Circuit that annually hosts the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. It was a dream that came to a reality with the visions of the founder, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. With the directives of His Majesty the King, the BIC has stood out as a valuable landmark that has added momentum to the economic, tourism and cultural aspects because of its importance on the international level. With his known determination, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister was fully confident that Bahrain has been capable of hosting the Formula One race because of the contributions, dedication and sincerity of its youth who managed to turn the dream into a reality. Today, the Kingdom of Bahrain was able to organize this international sporting event despite the exceptional circumstances imposed by the global pandemic. Upon directives from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, all employees of the health sector, especially front row workers, who made great contributions in serving the nation and the citizen, were allocated seats in the race stands for them and their families in appreciation for their great contributions and commitment to the national efforts exerted to address the pandemic. The vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in building the first racing circuit in the Middle East has enhanced the kingdom's position on the international map thanks to the great successes achieved year after year until it is today the focus of world attention. Lewis Hamilton has continued to shine brightest on the opening day of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2020 after setting the fastest time in F1's second 90-minute practice held under the bright lights of the Bahrain International Circuit, the BIC. It was an eventful session that saw a crash midway through involving Red Bull Racing Alexander Albin bringing out the red flag. After the resumption of action, Hamilton took over for Max Verstappen of the top of the timesheet, clocking a best time of 1 minute 28.971 seconds while completing 28 laps. Verstappen had to settle for second on the classification with a lap 0.347 seconds slower in his Red Bull with 34 laps. Valtteri Bottas in the car Mercedes was third fastest at 0.365 behind his teammate and 30 laps done. Rounding out the top eight in F1's practice two were Sergio per Perez of Racing Point, Daniel Ricciardo of Renault, Pierre Gasly of Alfa Tori, Lando Norris of McLaren and Perez's teammate Lance Stroll. A third F1 practice took place today over 60 minutes followed by qualifying today's F2 feature race consisted of 32 laps. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, witnessed the fourth horse race of the season, which was organized by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and was held on the Olympic Committee's Cup, the Bahrain Petroleum Company Babco Cup, and the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club Cup, which consisted of nine rounds on the club's race track in Arafa and Sakhir. The race was also attended by His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Hamad bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nadir bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Mohammed Hassan Al Nasif, and representatives of the race sponsors. His Highness Sheikh Khalid awarded the Bahrain Olympic Committee Cup to the winner, Yusuf Tahir, praising the organizational and technical level of the race, noting the efforts made by the Supreme Authority of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, headed by His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Vice President of the Supreme Commission. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also praised the technical levels and strength of the horses and riders participating in the races, which reflected the level of the horse racing sport in Bahrain, congratulating the horse Bo Champ Peynal, who won his first victory. His Highness expressed congratulations to all the owners and riders who won the race, wishing all the participants success in the upcoming races. The winners of the race cups were also awarded, where the Director of Corporate Communication at Babco Company, Nawaf Al Ghanim, presented the Babco Cup for the first half to the winning rider, Hashim Al Haddad, and the Babco Cup for the second half to the winning rider, James Naylor. The Executive Vice President of Refining and Marketing, Ibrahim Talib, presented the Babco Cup for the fifth round to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Babco Cup for the sixth round to His Highness Sheikh Hashim bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Babco Cup for the seventh round to the winning owner, Maytham Hashim and the Babco Cup for the 8th round to Ishaq Murad. He also presented the Babco Cup for the ninth round to the winner Hisham Al Haddad, while the Executive Director of Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented him with the club's cup.
Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Ayman bin Tawfiq al-Mu'ayyad lauded the success of the youth parliamentary simulation session which was organized by the Representative Council in implementation of the Royal Address directing to support the youth and increasing their awareness of national and parliamentary work. The minister hailed the participation of representatives of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad al-Khalifa in the parliamentary session and his keenness to give a speech in the presence of a host of Bahraini youngsters. He stressed that his participation underscores His Highness's support to boosting the principles of democracy among the youth in order to further engage them in decision making. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs said the model youth parliamentary session asserts the tremendous efforts of the Representative Council Speaker Fawziya bint Abdullah Zainal to promote the parliamentary culture among the youth and prepare a generation capable of assuming responsibilities. He also added that the simulated parliamentary session of the youth represents a key tributary of democracy in the kingdom that teaches the youth the principles of dialogue and respect of other opinions. He noted that the session also helps inform the youth of the kingdom's constitution and law and preserve democratic gains. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,521 active cases with 143 recoveries, 168 registered new cases. 69 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 76 are contacts of active cases, 23 are travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.